What's up, guys? The Immortal Nerd here, and welcome to Let's Let's Talk Math and Science. Or should I say, welcome back? Um, by the cover, you can see that I'll be talking about uh, differential equ differential equations, and more specific part, the annihilator. The uh, I can't even talk today. The annihilator method that is used in differential differential equations. Maybe I should just start saying Diffie Q. But uh, anyway, yeah, I just I decided to, you know, do another math video or education video. I haven't done one in a long time, so I thought I should get one, you know, out the way. So uh, yeah, what I'll be doing in this clip is telling you what the annihilator method is and then give you a simple example on how it's Use some of the stuff is kind of familiar with methods that we already used before. We just call it annihilator method because because we wanted to. I don't know, but uh, anyway, yeah. So let's go ahead and get into this here. So first, what is the annihilator method? Well, it is what it say. It is what it say. It is, <laughs> but uh, uh, no, seriously. Uh, the annihilator method is a method that we use to eliminate or annihilate the particular part of a non-homogeneous differential equation, or DPQ for short. So when we do this, uh, that means we'll end up with an equation like this one, y double prime plus py prime plus qy equals zero, instead of the latter, where you have g of t is the particular part of the DPQ that makes it non-homogeneous. So reason why we eliminate it, so we can make it a homogeneous and we know how to solve homogeneous differential equations of the second order. So let's go with this example one. You're given this uh, Diffie Q here, y double prime minus three y prime minus four y equal to 10 e to the two t. So the first thing we want to do is to put this differential equation in its operator form. And what I mean by that is uh, this guy right here. Well, I have d squared minus 3d minus 4 times y equal to 10e to the 2t. Now, where do those d's come from? Well, the, for the operator form, how you get from y double prime to d squared, well, the d represents derivative. So if I were to say capital D times y, that means that's the derivative of y, which is y prime. So when I say d squared times y, that means I'm taking the derivative of y twice, giving it a y double prime. So what I did in this step is I made those there, d squared times y minus 3dy minus 4y, but I just factor out the common y's in those three uh, terms, and that's why it's on the outside of the parentheses. And what's on the left side is the particular part. We don't want to worry, worry about that right now. Moving on, in the next step, you see in the parentheses that is a quadratic. So we're solving this like we would an auxiliary equation or the auxiliary part of a homogeneous differential equation. Same process like I said before. So I factored that out there to get the d minus 4 times d plus 1 times y equals to the particular part of this equation. Next, once you have that, you'll see that your eigenvalues for the homogeneous part is 4 and negative 1. So we know from when solving using the uh, undeterminate coefficients or variation of parameters, you'll get the homogeneous part of the equation, some coefficient times e raised to the, the those eigenvalues times t, and this is what I get here. a times e to the 4t plus b e to the negative t. Simple, simple, homogeneous part. Now you may be wondering, what about the particular solution of this Diffie Q? Well, that is the next thing. And when will I use this annihilator method? Because I haven't done it yet. That's the next thing that will be covered in this slide. So I'm coming back to the 
uh, the operator form of this diffy q and i have it factor out and what i want to do is now start this annihilation method so remember when i said um for the eigenvalues for a negative one it comes in that form of d minus r or whatever minus r so in order to eliminate the particular part of this equation, I need the um, the annihilation, the annihilator form or operator form for that part of the solution. So we see the particular part has a 2t as the exponent. So the annihilator form will be d minus 2. So what will I do with that d minus 2 is multiply that on both sides of my equation. And you see there, this is what I have. So my next step, I'm leaving the left side of my equation the same, but I'm distributing the 10e to the 2t inside of my d minus 2. Now remember what I said earlier, the d represents derivative. So when I take the derivative of de to the 2t, I will get 20e to the 2t, and it's minus another 20e to the 2t. So therefore, they will cancel. There's my annihilation part there. See on my left side, everything stayed the same. So in the next step, this is my general solution now for y. a e to the 4t plus b e to the negative t plus c e to the 2t. Now, what we do from here will be finding out what that coefficient is, c. Not a and b because we don't have any initial value uh, set up for this problem, so we can't solve those two variables. The only one that we can solve for is c, the coefficient c. So how we do that? Get rid of the other two. We just focus on the general part, the c e to the two t. We're going to take that and put that inside of the operator form that we have for this diffy q for y to get this. My next step. I want to distribute that inside of my parentheses to get this. Again, the d's represent a derivative. So the first term, I will take the derivative twice. Second term, I will take it one time. And the third term, I don't take it at all. So my next slide, I want to have that repeated in this step here so you can see it again. So when I take the derivative twice for the first term, I get 4e to the 2t. Take it one time for the second term, 6e to the 2t, and then my minus 4e to the 2t. And you see that I went ahead and factored out that coefficient c there. So in my next step, when I combine like terms, I got negative 6e to the 2t. This is, has been straight algebra you know, since the last slide. So now solve for c, divide both sides by the negative 6e to the 2t to get c is equal to negative five-thirds. So now that we have that coefficient, our complete general solution will be this. a e to the 4t plus b e to the negative t minus five-thirds e to the 2t. And that's it. It is, it is as simple as that. Now you'll get other problems where the particular part isn't of a... Uh, in the Euler's you know, exponential uh, solution, you may get one where you have sine and cosine in it, or maybe even a simpler one where it's of a linear solution or a quadratic solution or cubic. It doesn't matter. Um, the key thing is knowing what they are and then finding or finding or matching the annihilator operator for it. And they, you know, in certain textbooks, or I think it should be all of them, they have a table of these annihilators to where, okay, if you have this particular part of the solution, if it's a sine, a cosine, or E raised to whatever, or a quadratic, linear, cubic, or whatever, you use this annihilator form to get rid of it and solve it as a homogeneous to get your complete general solution. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I wanted to make it, you know, fresh or new or whatever or something different than what I did for my other videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Uh, if you want me to make more, hit that like button. And also, if you have any suggestions or what you like or maybe didn't like or better yet didn't really understand about using the annihilator method, put that in the comments below and I will get back with you. Again, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, get this out there to all the nerds in the universe, multiverse, and alternate dimensions. And I will see you in the next one. The Immortal Nerd, signing off.